Hey there, Dina Falcone, herbalist, educator, the author of Foraging and Feasting and Earthly Bodies and Heavenly Hair. And what is happening right now that I want you to check out, it is nettle in seed. This is Urtica dioica of the Urticaceae family and it is in seed, it is its seed moment. And that's what we're gonna focus on. Now you may know this beauty for its leaves, which we know are excellent food, blood builders, nutrient dense, um, make infusions with them and so on. But right now, I really want to switch over for you to be able to tap into the nettle seed gifts. So we are going to go deep into ID so you can see more clearly, but let's just talk about what's amazing about nettle seeds. Why do you want to get to know them? Why do you want to bring them into your life? These are considered superfoods, small amounts, in the menu, perhaps a quarter teaspoon or maybe a bit more to boost adrenal health. So what does that mean, boosting adrenal health? It means supporting our body's ability to handle stress. So immunomodulation, so reducing um, histamine response uh, to allergies, uh, to inflammation in the uh, skeletal muscles, uh, skeletal system, I'm throwing a lot out a lot at you but so thinking about those seeds as superfoods that boost our adrenal health which really means boosting our overall health they are also considered excellent kidney supportive uh, herbs so that means that we will bring health to the kidneys as well so it's an energizing superfood that supports our kidney health it's also used for scalp stimulation and encouraging hair growth um, so, yeah, so the superfood status of these little green fruits of nettle is what I want you to be able to key out, to be able to ID, and to bring into your life. So where are you going to find nettle, stinging nettle? It loves to grow in rich, moist soil, so you're going to find it along river banks, along water edges, in compost piles. It's in this wild garden in a very rich zone. So there's lots of organic matter in the soil here. It's humus rich soil. So Nettles loves that. It'll be in part shade to full sun and it is in USDA growing zones four to eight. I'm gonna get into a few details later with you, but just as a note, it is a worldwide weed and it is native to Eurasia and this particular subspecies is native to the United States. So you have a temperate weed of the world. Hopefully you're going to find some in your area. So let's get into the details of how to ID this plant. Let's snip it right here so we can do a good ID for you. So here we have the nettle specimen that we're going to ID for you. This is in flower and in seed happening right now. And I want you to always notice for ID purposes that the nettle has opposite leaf arrangement. So what does that mean? Is that the leaves, they grow opposite each other, right? There you have it. And let's get more into detail now about leaf shape and also the, the flowers and the seeds. Here's some leaf ID of nettle in flower and seed. And so what's happening here is the leaf elongates as it is uh, found on the upper part of the, the main stem. Here's a little bit lower down. And then if you were to find this in the springtime, the leaves would be much shorter and chubbier. But right now, this is what you're gonna find. Elongated leaves, lanceolate with these pointy tips and always these very strong serrations happening on the leaf margin. So you're always looking for that. And then we've got long petioles. That's long leaf stalks happening. And let's just flip it over so you get a sense of what it looks like on the back. And we have prominent wrinkling here. Uh, I should say prominent, prominent veining, not wrinkling, veining. There you have the back side. Okay, let's get into the leaf, I'm sorry, the flower and seed ID. Here we are on the lower flowering stem. And here is the males. This is the male staminate flower. That's what we see here. It's pretty dang cool, beautiful, growing out of the leaf axles here. You have these elongated flower clusters. These are male, the staminates. And then when we move up, 
we move up the stalk, the main stem that is, we hit the green seeds, the treasures, what we're after right here in perfect form. And that's what we harvest. And these are the seeds, the, the, the little nutlets. So that's what you want to harvest. And they're in this beautiful state right now before turning black or brown. We gather these and then we move up further. I'm going to rotate to the tip of the plant here. And this is where the female flowers are. They are going to get pollinated. That's the female on the top. That's the female flower, carpolate flower it's called, and that will become the green seed that we harvest. You always want to see that the stem has four ribs. So you can see these four indents, these four ribs on the main stem. What's the flavor of these green fruits of nettle? It's a green bean. It's very mild and it's a kind of a raw green bean, raw peanut flavor. So in nature, we do have an amazing assortment of supportive herbs. In the nettle seed, we have this powerful adrenal food, this kidney food. that's quite energizing, stimulating, has a lot of fire in it. But I want to just add some context as always that a healthy diet, a healthy menu, a blood sugar stable menu, deep restorative sleep and appropriate movement, appropriate exercise, plus of course the emotional state of our, our, our minds and our hearts and our... And our um... Anyway, so all of that relates to health and well-being just as a context, right? Remember that. If you're concerned about nettles, reproductive capacity, meaning you want those seeds to make new nettle, don't worry. Nettle does reproduce by its roots, so it has running roots and it's very aggressive in producing new plants through its root system. So if you harvest some of those seeds, you should be okay. Look at this beautiful specimen. And I want to detail a couple of other things is that these nettle are full of stinging hairs. And so it is best to harvest with gloves on. That's my opinion, even though I tend to touch it with gloves off. And what else to share? Yeah, so this is pretty important. The species that we have right here is Urtica dioica subspecies gracilis, subspecies gracilis, which means it's the native species of Eastern North America. The Urtica dioica subspecies dioica is the European species. Now, what I showed you, the ID in terms of flower formation is going to be on this monoecious species, the gracilis subspecies. And the, the female flowers are on the top and the male are on the bottom and the seed clusters are right there in the middle. But if you find the European species, which is fully wonderful, more stingy though, that one will not have the male and the female flowers on the same plant. They will be in separate houses. Dioecious means separate houses. So the male will be on a male plant and the female will be on a female plant. And then you will be gathering the seeds from the female plants. I hope I'm not over, <laughs> over informationing you, giving you too much info, but the, the reality is that you're just going to be looking for these nutlets, these really beautiful diamondy shaped crunchy nutlets. They're these little green fruits and that's what you want to harvest and that's what you're going to gather. And there they are, these beautiful superfoods, tonic food, adrenal food, kidney food, but in very small amounts. So you're going to be eating a quarter of a teaspoon that's a very small dose and you can eat it raw, just like so. You can dry it for future use. You can tincture it. Um, some folks do eat more. I suggest you start with that quarter teaspoon and there is a little tingle that comes <laughs> from the chewing. So watch your tongue as well. Um, but what else to say? So this is an amazing plant on so many levels and I know what else to share. Don't forget to check out our other videos we have on nettle spring shoots, 
we have nettle roots, we have making an herbal infusion with nettle, so we really cover nettle in the different videos. And this one is really featuring this late summer moment with the nettle seed. So hoping that you will bring in this potent herbal ally into your life. <laughs> and if you've enjoyed this and you'd like more, check out my online course, Ouch! <laughs> Wild Food Health Boosters and Herbal Remedies at wildfoodhealthboosters.com. See you next time.